Hey everybody, this is Buddy. Well, this is the first woolly bugger or woolly worm that I found this year, July 19, 2016. He's almost all black. But if you can see right there, he's got a little bit of black orange in him. Well, we're gonna start watching these little critters because all black means a cold winter an orange, good color orange on him in a big band means could be a mild one. Well, as I make my road, I laid my bike down kind of crooked looking, but um, hope a car don't come. That's, that's way too fast to pan, but um, the point is that um, that's the first woolly worm I've seen and it shows that it could be a real bad winter. So I'll see more and then after I see about five, I can really pin it down. If you don't know about Willy Worms, uh, search my name, Buddy Huggins, and Willy Worm or Willy Bugger or whatever you want to search. It's called Willy Worm, but some people call them Willy Buggers. I'm one of them. All right, see you later. Have you ever wondered can woolly worms predict the weather? What do woolly worms grow up to be? Are there any other animals that can predict the weather? Is it going to be a harsh winter? Or will it be mild? How can you tell? Do you rely on the almanac? Or do you turn to woolly worms? For many, many years, legend has held that woolly worms can predict whether the coming winter will be mild or harsh. Is there any truth to this belief? Or is it an old wives' tale? Woolly worms are actually the larval stage of the Isabella tiger moth, Pyrrhoxia Isabella. They are known by various names, including woolly bear caterpillars, banded woolly bears, fuzzy bears and black-ended bears. Woolly worms get their name from their fuzzy appearance. They have black bands at each end with a red-brown band in the middle. Each autumn, woolly bear caterpillars take shelter under leaves and other low-lying vegetation. In the spring, they complete their transformation into Isabella tiger moths. People who believe woolly worms can predict the weather think that a narrow red-brown band means a harsh winter. The wider the red-brown band is, the milder the coming winter is supposed to be. There are several towns in the United States that hold annual woolly worm festivals each fall. In addition to caterpillar races, these festivals also usually feature an official declaration of the woolly worm's prediction for the coming winter. But how accurate are woolly worms at predicting the weather? As it turns out, they're not so accurate. Scientists who have tested woolly worm's predictions have found that there is no correlation between woolly worm bands and winter weather. Instead, they note that the color and size of a woolly worm's bands are likely affected by several factors, including availability of food, conditions during development, age and species. Woolly worms aren't the only creatures that people look to for information about the weather, though. Here are some of the other animals and insects that people believe have weather predicting abilities. Groundhogs, each February 2. Americans wait for Groundhog Punxsutawney Phil to predict whether we will have six more weeks of winter or an early spring. Unfortunately, the National Climatic Data Center claims that Phil has only correctly predicted the weather about 39% of the time. Frogs. Some people believe that frogs croak louder and longer than normal when bad weather is on the way. Birds. How high are the birds in the sky? This is the question some people ask themselves. They believe that high-flying birds signal clear weather, and low-flying birds mean a storm is headed your way. Bees. If you notice that the bees buzzing around your flowers have suddenly gone missing, you can bet that bad weather may be on the way. Ladybugs. As the old saying goes, when the ladybugs swarm, expect a day that's warm. On the other hand, if they're looking for shelter, cold weather is on its way. Ants. If you notice ants building up their mounds for extra protection or even covering the mounds holes, you might want to prepare for some rain. Can all of these animals and insects successfully predict the weather? Not always. I'm a, I know all the fighters, and they're 
All on steroids. All you motherfuckers are on steroids. All you motherfuckers, all you're on steroids. I already know that. I already been know. Everybody knows that. Everybody's on steroids.